What's up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. We are moving on with a basic smoky eye for today's tutorial and I'm going to start with this deep brown color that I am just going to run into the crease of my eyes with a fluffy angled brush. So now I'm just going to take this black pigment that I got off of Amazon with a another fluffy brush and I'm going to take it and put it right in the crease over top of my lid. This has a little bit of kind of a charcoal gray shimmer to it and I think it's really pretty. So I'm just going to work with this very carefully to avoid as much fallout as possible and make sure it stays even because we all know that black is a pain to work with. Now I'm going to take my Tokidoki shadow in Samba and this is my favorite color to use when I'm doing a smoky eye. It's kind of a taupey gray but I'm just going to take this short little dense shadow brush and I'm going to put it on my lid and it is a really nice color. It's really blendable and I wish the forest still sold Tokidoki but they don't which is a bummer. They always discontinue the good stuff. Going back to my Disney palette, I'm just going to take this light color here and highlight under my brows just a little bit to blend out the harsh edges. I don't want to be too overly highlighted for this look because I do want it to be kind of subtle but still smoky and attention getting if that makes sense. It's supposed to be simplistic but yet still look good. I think that makes sense. So now I'm just going to use my Revlon Colorstay black liquid liner and wing it out a little bit. Obviously this is a pre-recorded video from the blonde hair. I found this footage as well as my last video I did. But I was pretty freaking proud of my wing on this eye. It was actually even and didn't look half bad. So yeah, I was, I'm was i pretty impressed with what I had going here. So now I'm going to curl my lashes and you can put on fake lashes with this. I didn't have my natural set of lashes at the time, but I definitely would have used it. But I'm going to use my Calvin Klein CK1 mascara and I have it on the short setting of the brush. Yes, this brush does have settings and it's pretty freaking cool. Um, This mascara isn't very wet, like it never has been. So I would just think about that, like it kind of doesn't dry out but it just doesn't take long to dry either. I don't know, it's weird. So now I'm gonna take my ColourPop blush in Mochi. This is my favorite matte pink blush. I do need to get more blushes. I need to get some peaches and stuff like that. So that is that. I absolutely love this blush, it's so pretty. I contoured my face too, but I cut that out of the recording because my contouring routine is pretty straightforward. So now I'm going to take the Girl Meets Pearl highlighter from Benefit, correct me if I'm wrong, I'm pretty sure it's Benefit, and put it on my chin and my nose and blend it out with my Beauty Blender and just a little bit on my forehead. It creates a really nice subtle glow, which is what I wanted. And I put a little bit under my eyes too, just because the eye look is so dark, I want it to be brighter on the rest of my face so they don't have to compete. And now I'm just going to do my lips with my Toast uh, lip liner. I think it's Maybelline. So I wanted to do kind of a 90s inspired lip color so I filled in my corners with toast and I got lip liner on my tooth. And then I took this color called Metro and it's a deep brown color with a lot of shimmer in it. Very frosty, very 90s. So I just ran over that over my lips and that is about it. Spray it with a little MAC Fix Plus and I'm ready to go. Hope you guys enjoy and stick around for your next video tomorrow. Bye!